Madam Speaker, recently Cecilia Rouse, the chair of the White House uh, Council of Economic Advisors, was trying to explain away the challenges that runaway inflation present to most American households. And she said, I quote, most American household balance sheets are strong and can, pro and can provide some cushion for rising prices, close quote. I was shocked to hear these remarks coming from one of the president's top economic policy advisors. Madam Speaker, most Americans, in fact, do not have a cushion for rising prices. A recent survey found that 56 percent of Americans cannot cover a $1,000 emergency expense from their savings. That's why I led a letter demanding that Chair Rouse apologize to the millions of Americans struggling with skyrocketing prices due to the failed economic policies of the Biden administration. And Madam Chairman, I ask that unanimous consent that that letter be entered into the record today. Without objection. If remarks like these are reflective of the advice being given to the President of the United States, it is no wonder that they continue to enact policies completely out of touch with the American people. Madam Speaker, if you were on a drive through Middle Tennessee right now and needed to fill up, let's say, a 2050 or 2015 Ford F-150, you'd pay about $120. A gas tax holiday would take fewer than five bucks off that bill. Yet this is the latest Band-Aid solution being tossed around by the Biden administration. President Biden has already depleted our strategic petroleum reserve to its lowest point in 35 years, weakening national security while doing little or nothing to lower gas prices. While every dollar certainly counts, saving only five bucks out of every $120 from a gas tax holiday will not make much of a difference in our personal budgets, but it will have a crushing effect on our ability to pay for the federal highway system. Instead of kneecapping our nation's infrastructure, the president should immediately approve the more than 4,000 pending applications for drilling and end the freeze on oil and gas leases. Yet President Biden refuses. The key to getting prices down is simple. Reestablish the energy independence President Trump created. President Biden simply must do better. Thank you, Madam Chairman, and I yield back.